My name is Jörg Joris and I'm working here at ILRI in the Mycoplasma research team. And what we're trying to do is we try to, con to develop certain control measures via our research to control two main diseases here in Africa. Contagious bovine pleuropneumonia and the other one is contagious caprine pleuropneumonia, which we want to start now. That is a paper about the molecular epidemiology of the Mycoplasma mycoides cluster, which encompasses these two uh, uh, organisms and other organisms as well, which all affect livestock and cause disease and lots of losses for the farmers. So if you want to do some research on a pathogen and you want to develop better vaccines and diagnostic tools, you have to get a clue how diverse are the pathogens and you have to do that hand in hand with the epidemiologist and that is more or less a molecular epidemiology paper. It's a modern tool to really characterize these uh, bacteria and see how diverse they are, what are the driving forces of evolution and that is what we wanted to get out with that paper and there was actually a kind of neat result that we showed that the evolution of that cluster of pathogens you know, coincided with the domestication of the ruminants. Which was the first uh, collaboration, if I see it, at least for biotechnology, together with ECP. And if you want to do really nice science, you have to work with partners. It doesn't go by yourself because not a single institute, you know, has all the competencies required to do some nice piece of work. And we all here at ILRI always try to work with partners together. We had partners in US, in, in Europe, everywhere actually, in Africa. So that that's why we, we got some nice results. And I think, you know, within the over a couple of years we have probably one of the best mycoplasma strain collections here in Africa and that's actually because of that study. There were two partners which gave us most of the, of the strains and that's actually an institute in Switzerland the, that's run by Joachim Frey and then there's an institute in Germany, the Friedrich Löffler Institute that was actually Martin Heller who gave us many strains you know that we can build up our own strain collection here and we are really thankful for that. I think the most important finding of that research was that we show that two particular pathogens or groups of pathogens are not really that diverse, you know, so they're all the same more or less in terms of their genetic structure, which implies that they're probably more or less the same when they're interacting with the host which gives us much more hope to develop a good uh, control measures, good vaccines and good diagnostic tests because they're all like twins. Mm. So if they are the same, if you do something against one, you can affect the other one as well. There's so many factors which can influence that. Bacteria can pick certain genes from other bacteria or from the environment, you know, which is a kind of an armor what they get and then they fight against the host pathogen. They want to survive, they want to replicate and they can do that in a host. And of course the host doesn't like it, you know, that's why you have a disease. We can't really give you an answer right now what it was. And we are looking forward now to translate our other research results in the next couple of years into better vaccines.